Welcome to Faithfully Growing Together in This Growth Moment, a podcast to help us all learn, grow, and transition together. I'm your host, Tim Fortescue, a life coach coming alongside people of faith as we all manage transitions together. Today, I'm going to talk about three powerful questions to engage spiritual wisdom. If you're looking to go deeper in your faith and spirituality, what I share today might help. I trust that you've had a good week. Before I get into today's content, I'd like to do an exercise that I often start my coaching sessions with. I like to ask clients, what are your wins and shares? And I get my clients to pause for a minute because I've found that we all need to stop and breathe sometimes throughout the day. And out of that pause, we can ask, what were your wins and shares this week? What has gone well? What would you like to share about? So I ask that to you today. What has gone well for you this week? For me, I'm grateful for a job that I can be flexible with and that I enjoy doing. Uh, And it's gone well, just the balance between family and work this week. I'm grateful for the new people that I've been able to meet this week and those conversations have gone well. As I talked about last week, as we come out of the pandemic, I have enjoyed just having random conversations with random people and I found that there is more grace in that. So I'm grateful for the new people and the conversations that I've had that have gone well this week. And so I invite you before we begin to take a minute And if you don't do it now, later today, and just sit in some silence and think about your wins this week and share them with someone. And if you'd like an outlet to share with others, I will put a link to the Faithfully Growing Together Facebook link in the show notes. But I hope that you've had some wins this week. So with that, let's get into today's content. If you're like me, it might be challenging at times to tap into your faith and inner spiritual wisdom. This week I came across an article that gave me some hope and some questions that I found helpful as I engage my faith and spirituality more. And I'd like to share with you what I gleaned. So let me share the three powerful questions from the article written by Adam Robert Smith in Choice Magazine. This is a magazine on life coaching that I subscribe to. Often, I hear people say things like, I need to pray about it, or something really shifted for me in my meditation this morning. As a coach, I sometimes ask follow-up questions like, how is it with your soul? Or how do you aspire to be in this situation? Each of us makes meaning of the world from a variety of emotional and cognitive frameworks. We focus on achieving success, avoiding failure, and finding joy and life purpose, among others. Spiritual development and religious teachings also impact how we choose and pursue our goals. Asking questions can help us tap into spiritual wisdom so we can live an even more fulfilled life. So let's look at the three powerful questions that I got from the article. Number one, how do you think the universe works? This points to the deeper question of what is your theology? This can include specific religious beliefs or more personal understandings. You might say, I'm Muslim, or I'm Christian, or I'm an atheist. I encourage you and me to go deeper with this question, though. In doing so, you might find that you attend a congregation but don't really believe in God, or you believe in a divine reality, but you aren't into organized religion. This question helps you understand your own unarticulated expectations of what the world will offer and how it will respond to you. Question number two, what do you value and how do you determine your course of action? And on a deeper level, this is getting at what are your ethics? 
This could include highly aspirational idealistic ideas as well as practical transactional ideas. Ethical systems vary widely, addressing personal behavior, group norms, and global issues. You might say, for example, I believe in the golden rule. But what is behind that when you dig deeper? What do you believe the golden rule actually says? And how do you practice it? And for me, when I look deeper, I find out I know the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you, but I'm not practicing it often or as often as I need to be in my daily life. What are your current realities and circumstances? Are you there as a result of practicing the golden rule? Questions like these, when we approach them without judgment, can really open things up more. And finally, powerful question number three. How do you best function in the world? And on a deeper level, this is getting at what is your personality? Personality questions can help you gain clarity about who you truly are. You may already say, I procrastinate, or I'm a perfectionist, or I focus best in the morning. However, if you probe a little deeper, you might realize that you're afraid of sin, or that you're encouraged by the rebirth of a new day in the morning. This question can help you assess your capacity to live out beliefs and values as you relate to the world. You matter deeply in the midst of your spirituality. And maybe it's just me, but I haven't been encouraged enough to take myself and my own personality into consideration when looking at my spirituality. But I want you to know that you matter. Who you are is important to your spiritual journey. I hope this was helpful for you, and I encourage you to take a little time in the next week or so and answer these questions in one sitting to see what you discover. Ask yourself, how do you think of the universe, or what is your theology? What do you value? How do you plan your course of action, or what are your ethics? And finally, how do you best function in the world? What is your personality? And I'm not going to leave you alone in this. I'm also going to take some time this week to look at these questions and contemplate and journal a little bit. I invite you to join me next week as I reveal to you what I discovered as I spend some time contemplating these three questions. And I'd love to hear what you're learning if you choose to sit and spend some time with the questions. Additionally, I'm planning to offer a one group coaching session to where the group would look at these questions and see what we could discover together about our own spirituality. If you're interested in the group coaching session or if you'd like to send me your insight that you're learning, you can send me an email at tim at faithfullygrowing.com. Thanks so much for your time. I hope this was helpful. If it was, I encourage you to please like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you'd like to continue the conversation, I'll put a link to a Facebook group in the notes so that you can join and chime in there. And additionally, if you would like to talk more, I invite you to book a free consultation at www.faithfullygrowing.com. But thanks again, and I look forward to what lies ahead as we all continue to faithfully grow.